What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So today, it's about a title. I am working on the 2015 Kia Sedona. I am doing, I am replacing the disc brakes. Now, the reason I am doing that is because, well, for the Kia, it's a common thing for the, the rotors to warp. So if you're driving and you lightly, not lightly, but you press on the brake, not a lot, but you press on the brake, you're going to feel the steering wheel shake. And that's uh, usually it's a sign of the the warp disc, the the brake disc, or a, a bad a, um, a bad brake caliper. But I know it's not bad brake caliper because if you press, if I press on the brakes harder, that my brakes will stop. So I know one of the discs is warp. So I'm gonna change both sides out. Um, so that's a common thing with these uh with these kids is a um, a warp disc. So if you um. And that's it. Yeah, that's one of your issues when you're driving. You press on the brakes and your steering will start shaking, and you know you have good tires. Um, you're you just got an alignment done. You know you have no suspension problems, and that's uh, a common thing is uh, the disc uh, being warped. So I ordered two discs. I bought them. I bought them on Rock Auto, and um, now you don't have to replace the disc. Okay. Yeah, I already have the car jacked up. I already have the wheel off. So you don't have to replace them if you want to. Now, you could take it to a, mach a machine shop, to a, a mechanic shop, and they could resurface your disc. Now, you do need to get a uh, a little digital caliper gauge to kind of measure the thickness because if it's not thick enough, um, you have to replace them because they're too thin and a machine shop. Or even O'Reilly's or Autos will leave a machine for you. You know, they'll resurface, you know, they'll, they'll grind them down. Um, I'm not sure how much they will charge you, but you would have to call in, um, of course, uh, ask them how much they charge. But that's another option. If, if you're feeling a vibration, you cost it to your disc resurface if, if it is still thick enough. Now, I'm not gonna, I might as well just change them out. Um, I've had this car already for who knows how long. I think it's, it's built and now we're 2022 so i've had this car for about already five years and i have not once uh changed out the this so enough of me talking let's get to the video so this is the tools now we we do have these screws now i don't know if these screws make a difference but i believe so i believe these screws either screw into like the wheel hub but i have those uh we, we have these screws there are two screws phillips now if for some reason you can't take them off and they're stuck you're gonna have to go buy an impact screwdriver set. I got this at Harbor Freight. Looks just like this. Not sure how much I paid for it, but you put it on, you set it, and you hit the back with the hammer, and it'll start turning to where you need to remove it. Uh, I haven't done that yet, but so I got a hammer. I got the impact screwdriver set, a 14 millimeter, because we do have to remove. Um, actually. We will have to remove the whole, um, the whole caliper set. So even this, the, where it rests. So this one actually, I want to say, let me see. I didn't even check this out. Oh, I believe that's like a 17 back here. I'll find out for sure once I get into this. Yes, we will have to remove the whole brake caliper. This, don't know what you call this, this, uh, brake caliper bracket maybe that's probably what it's called you, you do have to remove that and then we probably will have to get a rubber mallet if we have one to hit this rotor off um yeah so let me start by taking off the brake rotor i do have this little cable so that way um i don't just have the the brake caliper resting you know i don't want to put strain on this uh this brake line i'll put a i'll probably put the tie up here and then I'll have the brake caliper up here somewhere. So that way I'm not straining the brake hose. Um, it's pretty much it right now. So let me, let me start by doing that. We can take off the brake caliper. Then I'll actually take off the brake caliper uh, bracket. And then I'll take off the screws and then we'll go from there. All right. So the brake caliper that's mounted to that bracket, it's two 14 millimeters. Uh, one right there, one right there. Now, this is the first time I ever had this problem. Not sure why, but um, my brake caliper was stuck 
and it wouldn't come out. Um, um, usually, if you remove the two bolts, the cap will slide off, but for some reason it was stuck this time. First time it's ever happened to me, so um, what I did is I removed the whole bracket. It is held on by two 17 mil millimeter bolts on the back side back here. Um, so I just took the whole piece off um, and it came, off, it came apart. I was able to slide out the, the brake pads and all that, but looking at the brake pads, I don't know. They look, they just don't look good. I don't know. I don't know if I, I didn't, last time that we, we got our car checked out, I didn't tell them to replace the brakes, but usually, see, it was stuck on this. You see where that, uh, the brake, um, the piston, that thing right there, the piston, it was stuck on this lip. Um, yeah, that's weird. This has never happened to me ever before. Um, and I use, and I always get my brake pads from O'Reilly, so, not sure what happened there, but I could, I don't know, because this should be, this part should be on the, on the in no, this should be on the outside. This should be on the outside like this, and then the one with the wear down, the indicator should be on the inside. Huh? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to check that out. I'm gonna have to do uh, remove the other side and get that. But anyway, so um, I removed the two screws. Um, one of the screws was pretty tight, so you put it on there. You hit it in the back with the hammer. Make sure you have it to the setting where it turns left when you hit it and uh, came apart. I used a rubber ham a rubber mallet. Sorry, I'm trying to do it with one hand. Rubber mallet, hit it on the back end, and it came apart, and that's it. And then now, that's it. Here you have your wheel hub. Now it's up to you. You can clean this up, um, get some sandpaper, make this all nice and clean so that way it doesn't stick on here ever again but it's up to you it's not necessarily I am gonna do it because I like to make sure um, that my my car is running good and it's I guess I guess good I don't know it's just something but um, yeah so that's done I do have to go get the new brake rotor which is up there like I said I got them on Rock Auto I believe no I don't want to quote you on how much I got them but I want to say it was probably about 30 bucks a rotor if that maybe a little bit more but yeah guys so that's pretty much it um everything else is just putting it back together and yeah so that's pretty much it so oh yeah let me take that off so yeah so um if you guys are experiencing the the shake you know the steering wheel shake while you're driving and uh you're pressing the brakes um it's usually because of the a warped uh, brake rotor um you can't really see it you can't really see it by the eye but this one doesn't feel bad but i believe it's the uh the driver's side that's where i that's where i usually feel it from but yeah i hope this video was it, it this is a very easy video so um i showed you guys the tools it's a 17 millimeter for the brake caliper bracket which is right there and that's what I was using you can use a regular ratchet this one just has a like it adjusts you know it swivels whatever you don't need to buy that but just a regular ratchet with the 17 millimeter this is a half inch ratchet that's it that's all you need and then everything else is putting it back together just putting it back on the brake pad um, if you do have some brake cleaner get a cloth wipe down the brake pad before um putting the brake pads on there so that way it's a nice clean surface and that's pretty much it i can think of make sure you guys put everything back together um yeah that's, this this is pretty easy video yeah guys so um i will be posting out more videos well most of my videos if, if you guys notice they've been about me uh driving the semi because i'm trying to help out the, the new drivers 
on uh, trying to get to the store. So this video is this is both for the truck drivers that ending right now. But uh, yeah, I'm posting on more videos. I hope to post more videos about the Honda. I do need to change out the CV -AX, so I need to do a lot of stuff to it because the suspension on that is shot out. So yeah, I need to do that. But anyway, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this helps you out. Um, very easy video. You know, like I said before, if I could do it, you could do it. Anyone could do this. Um, I'm doing it literally in my garage, as you can tell. Don't, yeah, the boxes. We're, we're in the process of something. But, um, yeah, guys, so like always, subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment down below if you have any uh, questions, if you have any tips. If, even if you guys want to give me some tips too, leave a comment down below because um, anything that will help me in the future will um, make my this job a little bit faster. Would, I, I would I would appreciate it. So yeah, so like always, subscribe, hit the like button, and I hope this video actually um, helps you out. This is a very easy job. Um, you don't have to go to your mechanic to get this done. All right, back to what I was saying. The memory was full, so I had to sw swap out swap out memories. You know, YouTube things. Um, yeah, guys. So if you guys don't want to spend the sixty to eighty dollars on a, a pair of rotors, like I said, you guys can take them to your local. AutoZone, O'Reilly's. Honestly, I personally wouldn't go there. Now they they like they they could do it. Um, but um, I would actually take it to a, um, a mechanic, you know, to a Les Schwab or to a Big O Tires, you know, um, a place where they actually resurface every day because you're probably getting something from O'Reilly's that probably machines a rotor maybe once a month, and that's only because. Maybe people know about it. So that person who actually machines the rotors maybe does it once a month. But you want to actually get somebody that does it all the time because when you machine the rotors, they it, it cuts into the rotor. That's how you get a new surface. It's like a teeth and it cuts into the rotor. And you want to make sure you have someone that actually does it every day. So I would honestly, I prefer going to like your Les Schwab and anything like that. So that way um, you get a nice clean cut and uh, you don't have to worry about it. But that's just me. But if you trust your O'Reilly's on zone, hey, that's up to you. Um, but yeah, so you don't have to spend the six to $80 on new rotors, like I said. Take it to them. They'll see if it's even um, able to be machined. Like I said, it all depends on the thickness of the disc. And then, um, yeah, so I'm not sure how much they charge me. 20, 30, I don't know. I doubt it's gonna be 30 bucks. Maybe around 10 or 20 bucks around there. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this video helps you out. I hope if you're having the same problem, this will lead you in the right direction. But like always, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace out. All right, one thing I did forget to mention is these are the rotors that I bought off of Rock Auto. Those are the part numbers. And um, yeah, one should be left and one should be right. Not sure which one it is i would think there'll be different part numbers for left or right but apparently not or maybe there's not maybe there's not a big difference anyways so those are the brake rotors those are the part numbers that i got so you want to get the same ones they look exactly just like that they're already on the vehicle one thing i did forget to mention is that once you guys put on the new brake rotors once you guys put on the new brake rotors Use the impact screwdriver to tighten them, maybe about two hits with the hammer, and then call it good. So two hits with the hammer, oh, oh, focus, oh, focus, 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 is it focusing? It doesn't look focused. Uh, there we go. Um, one thing, yeah, so yeah, just do. Hit it with the screwdriver, the impact screwdriver, one or two hits, and call it good. Now, that's the end of the video. Peace out.